Emergency medicine, in my opinion, is the best medical specialty because it's the most interesting. It's uh, the most uh, fun. You gotta be on your toes and you take care of people with a wide variety of illnesses and a wide variety of acuity as well. So it's fun and it's fast paced. And so you get to see a lot of people in a shift and you get to see a lot of different things in a shift. One of the things that stood out about this program when I was interviewing was how happy everybody was. I think that's partly because we have a lot of fun together and everyone's incredibly supportive. Residency is not something I think that anybody can do by themselves. There's definitely a, an almost a family type of feeling. And then you have faculty that care. Most of our faculty, they're not here primarily because they're doing research. They're here because they want to teach. They're here for us. The residency program here at, um, at Wright State and at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. We do rotations here, we do rotations at Miami Valley at the Level 1 Trauma Center. We do ro rotations uh, at Kettering and at Sycamore. We rotate at a variety of facilities. And I think for me the nice thing about that is, is it makes me as a provider feel much more comfortable to be able to be plug and play where I have confidence with different resources. You can go to smaller locations uh, where you have to learn when to send someone to a level one trauma center and then you get to practice at the level one trauma center and then be on the other end of that. We have uh, Kettering uh, Medical Center which is a community, more of a community feel and it's you more kind of direct one-on-one -on -one working with an attending. Over at the Valley you have Green Station. The Green Station is a block of the emergency department that residents pick up every single patient and we see them with an attending. Basically, you're working under their supervision, and so for me, I try to practice independently. I, in my mind, I pretend like they're not there. So I'm on my own, and I need to make all the medical decisions. But in the back of my mind, I know that they're there, and they're watching me, and they've got my back. So you have not only great support, that you can teach and learn on shift all at once while seeing a good volume. Then we rotate at other facilities, um, like uh, the base, which is a much smaller kind of community ED feel. The civilian aspect of our training obviously is a huge benefit to the Air Force because we see the high acuity patients at our civilian sites. And the Air Force brings a lot of valuable resources to our, the civilian side in terms of funding for programs like our cadaver program where we get to run through pretty much every procedure you can think of. CCAT is one of the coolest things that we have available to us. So CCAT training is this uh, ability for us to train and prepare for CCAT flying with the military. These are big aircrafts that uh, physicians are able to fly overseas or sometimes uh, just uh, in the United States and carrying these sick patients back and forth between hospitals. So since we're stationed here, we have that early exposure, a lot of running ground in starting that career if we so choose. At Wright-Patterson and at WSU, we have a great sim program. I think it's one of the biggest assets we have. Uh, intern year, from day one in our orientation, you get pushed in the simulation center with complex, high acuity patient scenarios that push you out of your comfort zone and force you to grow. I had a few lines that I had difficulty with, so I just you know, emailed them, they set me up, I was able to do ultrasound guided lines, blind lines, they had all the sims, all the equipment for me. And you get direct one-on-one -on -one feedback from a faculty member who critiques your performance. No matter how good or poorly you do, there's something you're going to improve on in the sim center. I think we have excellent didactics here. Every week we start in small groups and run through the basics. So every week it starts with EKGs and radiology. And we really hammer home those basic concepts and then we have a different topic based on the EM model every week. So by the end of residency, you've gone through the core material at least three times, which I think is really valuable. And then we get into the weeds and the more advanced material in our large group. I definitely feel like after my intern year, I've got a great overview of everything I need to know. So I'm not from Dayton. I moved to Dayton to come to residency here and I've really fallen in love with it. I think there's an amazing culture, just lots of different people coming from all aspects of life. Um, there's tons of things to do, so I've met lots and lots of people just going to different events to play sports with other people. There's tons of hiking trails. Uh, my wife and I take our dogs for walks all the time. We have a great downtown with restaurants, bars, there's plenty of breweries. And then Dayton during the summer especially has a different festival every week. I, I found a lot in Dayton that I really, really love. My favorite part is just being able to go to work and work with people that 
above and beyond. I, I trust them. I feel incredibly prepared and well trained because from day one I've seen really sick high acuity patients. I've had an incredible amount of direct feedback from my senior residents as well as our faculty. Interviewed at a variety of locations. There was something about just the people and the collaborative environment that I felt like this is where I'm going to become the best emergency medicine physician that I can be.